Hey guys, welcome back to the Broken... Ah! <laughs> uh, f Hi guys, welcome back to the show. I am really sorry, obviously, I haven't been able to make any content for you recently. Um, we've been in sort of a hard lockdown here in the UK and I haven't been able to get any guns for you. However, we are back. It is beautiful out here. I'm back at Bywell. Um, we're allowed out to play. And I've got the Beretta 486 Parallelo. Um, this is a gun I've been wanting to try for ages. Um, as a clay shooter, I've never really fancied the concept of a side-by-side -side, and I've always wanted to try this particular model of the 486 which has uh, the beaver tail forend and the pistol grip um, because I think this is the ideal bridge gun between um, a side-by-side -side and an over-under. It turns out it is. Okay, let's do the technical bits. Uh, we've got 28 inch barrels, um, beautifully struck off, these are nice and deeply blued, 18.4 uh, board, th board, three inch chamber, uh, 10 to five and a half milli uh, game rib, which is uh, not checkered at all. A nice little bit of Beretta engraving here at the root of the, uh, of the, uh, the rib. Um, steel front bead, multi-choked. Coming back the fore end is a nice beaver tail hand cut checkering. Nice little bit of detail here on the latch. Um, and a nice little diamond in there where you could get your initials if you were that way inclined. Um, coming back to the action, the interior surfaces are all nicely jeweled. Um, and the engraving is just sort of a nice, um, fairly traditional acantha scroll which goes round um, all the way around the action and down the tang and down um, in some nice little bits here on the on the trigger tang and the trigger guard um, with the uh, the logo and the four eight six underneath. Very very sort of muted, traditional, not too loud, just nice. The uh, the top lever is very finely checkered and lovely. Uh, Safety, it's an auto safe, although yeah, I think you can turn that off. And it features a gravity safe um, uh, feature where basically if you drop the gun, it auto safes itself, which is kind of interesting. Um, single trigger, ejector, um, although I gather it is available as a non-ejector if you're that way inclined. Um, and then coming back, obviously this one comes with a pistol grip rather than a straight hand stock. They are available in both configurations. Um, much prefer the pistol grip myself. As I said, I wanted something that was a uh, something a clay, a clay shooter could get hold of. Um, nice, sporty, thin um, uh, stock. I haven't actually mothered, uh, measured the drop, um, but it is sort of very easy to mount and it, and it fits me. Um, we have a, um, a wooden uh, fitted butt pad, although obviously this being a Beretta, you could fit pretty much any of the, uh, the recoil absorber butt pads, which will of course allow you, if you're like anything like me, <laughs> big softy, um, to uh, take a bit more sting out of those game loads. Um, it's seven pounds and comes in at around about the 4,000 pounds mark, so it ain't cheap. But it does sit, in terms of its weight class, in between uh, a fully sort of game gun at six and a, and a sort of traditional clay gun at eight. And I think it's ideal because it retains that lovely neutral balance um, and the weight is such that it's not unpleasant to shoot. You can actually shoot clays with this um, and I have, and it doesn't kick your head in. It's not awful. Equally, the, the pistol grip is nice and familiar for me. Um, I find straight hand stocks to be unpleasant to shoot. Um, I just don't like the lack of reference, shall we say. Um, it is extremely nimble. Um, very, very nice, easy to sort of mount and very, very quickly whip through a driven bird or any kind of bird you want. Obviously, a lot quicker than your traditional clay gun and you will need, if you are shooting this, to sort of learn to slow it down a bit. Um, not fantastic for sort of long trosses, etc., where you want a, a proper clay gun, but that ain't what this is for. Um, I think if you are a clay shooter who fancies a, um, a side-by-side for game days, this is absolutely fantastic. It ain't cheap, like I said, four grand is um, a reasonable amount of money, but I think it is four grand's worth of gun. Um, it's really, really nicely uh, put together. The wood to metal fit is lovely. The wood is a nice sort of grade three, nothing too striking, but it's not too loud, but equally it's quite nice. Um, checkering is well executed, the engraving's nice. It's just nice. The nice deep bluing in the barrels. It's just a very, very pleasant thing. It comes in a um, fairly standard brown, um, Nagrini uh, case, the standard sort of Beretta ones. Um, and it's just very 
very pleasant. This particular one, by the way, is a 28 inch. I think ideal. Absolutely lovely thing. Highly recommended. So, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, obviously, things have been different while we've been away, but um, we're back now. Hopefully, I am going to be able to make you some more content on a more regular basis going forward. And I've got some guns lined up, although I'm still waiting on manufacturers to tell me when they're going to ship them for me. But uh, yeah, hopefully we're back. Um, obviously, there's also now the podcast. Um, if you haven't come across it, do take a look. It's called The Broken Gun. Myself, Johnny Carter from TGS, um, Bruce from Bruce's Shooting Academy, and Eddie from the Somerset Hunters uh, basically sit around and drink um, and swear at each other. Uh, <laughs> so it's, it's not safe for work, but it is a lot of fun. Please do, uh, please do look us up on your favourite podcast app. As ever, you can follow me on Instagram, uh, alloydp, and um, there are now there's a Patreon page if you want to help support the channel. And, of course, if you want to support the channel and get something out of it, um, you can buy merchandise. There is a Teespring store. Um, if you have a look at the link in my um, YouTube bio, you can go through and buy some, like, uh, hoodies and T-shirts and whatnot. Um, very much appreciated if you do, if you do pick something up. Um, the channel is, as ever, supported by Bywell Shooting Ground, Macwet Gloves and Hull Cartridge. Guys, thanks ever so much for tuning in. It's lovely to be back and it's lovely to see you all again. Uh, please leave a comment below if you have out to say. And um, yeah, I'll see you again soon. Take care, guys.